US 12% inflation? A dangerous Federal Reserve. Us stock markets have been mostly sideways in the range of the last 3-4 to four day trading session. There were some solid PMI figures for both manufacturing and services, but these were minor changes. What caught my eye was the serious stockpiling of US durable goods. The US economy is still a mixed bag as mortgage rates are starting to rise and a slowdown in the real estate market is becoming increasingly clear to everyone. Inflation of 7.9% is already totally alarming and while we thought we would see 10%, it now seems more likely that the US will see an inflation reading of 12% this year. This is inevitable and there is nothing the Federal Reserve can do about it. The frightening risk for the US economy is that the Fed, which has gotten everything wrong so far, has decided that it needs to be overly aggressive as inflation accelerates from the current 7.9%. Market sentiment on the day appears to be supporting a rally, accelerating new sanctions and military aid to Ukraine. Also, President Biden said that if chemical weapons are used, the United States will respond directly. Let's hope no one in the Russian army resorts to such weapons, even under heavy fire. Now that means the Third World War. While harsh speech is appropriate, the West may be forcing itself into direct contact with Russian forces. In fact, the situation does not appear to have stabilized, but appears to be reversing. It's not nice to write. This is an often talked about risk that shouldn't be allowed to happen, that none of us really thought would happen. We should be mindful of this still remote possibility. Oil had a bearish day but was in an uptrend. It will be wavy. My guess is $180, the risk is $250. The euro is likely to start depreciating quite aggressively very soon. The outlook points to a deepening recession across Europe. Us stock markets may experience sharper declines at any time. Who wants to go home for the weekend for a long time? Anything can happen.